Joining us now to talk all about it is Miranda Devine, New York Post columnist, Fox News contributor, and author of Laptop from Hell. Miranda, you wrote about this today in your New York Post column. Uh, a spy named One Eye, that sounds like a name that Hunter Biden himself came up with. <laughs> well, I mean, it is wild, and the story just gets wilder. It's it's so, like something out of a John le Carre novel, really. Mm -hmm. um, but look, uh, these people, these characters are all legitimate. Um, this uh, Israeli uh, energy expert, Gal Luft, uh, well connected in Washington D.C. circles um, with intelligence people, a former high-ranking officer in the Israeli Defense Force, and he's been arrested in Cyprus last month on gun running charges and FARA violations. You might recognize that and lying to the DOJ. Um, now he claimed that uh, he wrote a tweet after he got arrested claiming that he was being arrested on a political uh, gotcha to shut him up about what he knew about Biden family corruption uh, and through his lawyer has told me um, and this FBI mole that apparently fed Hunter Biden information that uh, Hunter's Chinese business partners were about to be rounded up by the FBI, were being investigated by the FBI. Uh, this FBI mole was called One Eye. This is it's, listen, it's, it, this is so bizarre, and you're right, the, the, this is a story that just keeps yes. on giving, but Miranda, when you just think that things can't get any weirder or worse, you learn something else. We have new emails from 2015 that show that then-Vice President Joe Biden's office tried to quash a Bloomberg story about Hunter at his firm's request. Look, this is so um, mind blowingly wrong of the media, this whole interaction between um, Kate Bedingfield, who was then Vice President Joe Biden's flack, and um, Hunter Biden's business partner, talking about a Bloomberg reporter who had been asking the VP Biden about Hunter Biden's uh, business deals in Ukraine. And the great irony of this is that in the middle of it, um, you've got um, Joe Biden telling this reporter, I know nothing about my son's business and my son has nothing to do with my business. And straight away, immediately, his flat, Kate Bedingfield, contacts Hunter Biden's business partner to tell him what has been going on giving him quotes from the interview and basically saying, watch out, you know, Bloomberg's going to ask questions. But then she says, but don't worry, uh, the Bloomberg reporter has told me she doesn't want to report this at all. She'll only do it if her editor holds a gun to her head. Unbelievable. Uh, before we go, any sense of when we'll get uh, more information out of uh, Congressman James Comer's investigation? Look, I think it'll be, I thought it would be this week, maybe it'll be early next week, but they have been subpoenaing more bank records based on the bank records that they revealed last week with the one million plus dollars uh, going from this Chinese energy company through a proxy to four Biden family members. Uh, one of those was only named as Biden. So I think that's the next stage. James Comer subpoenaed these further bank records, which will give us the identity of that unknown Biden. Mm -hmm. Randy, we're only a couple months into a Republican majority and it's already bearing fruit in an investigation that should have been done yeah. by the FBI and the DOJ. So good on this House uh, 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 leadership from the Republican Party. Miranda, thank you for joining us. And well, thanks and, for all your good work on this. good on Miranda Devine. Good on Miranda Devine. That's right. We can't leave you out of that. <laughs> all you guys bringing us the truth. Yeah. We appreciate it. Thank you.